Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, yay, I've got another entry to my challenge. This is entry number 51 and it's from the lovely Teresa who is car boot crafter. Um, Teresa's new to me so I will leave the link to her channel so that you can pop across and have a look at some of her videos so thank you ever so much Teresa um before I open I've not opened it before I open it now this was the entry now I came on yesterday with this card saying that they couldn't deliver the parcel because the sender hadn't paid the full postage um I, I don't want you to feel bad Teresa but I know you said that um, you did. You wasn't familiar. Teresa's new to to posting things and that, so she wasn't familiar with uh, um, Royal Mail's stupid, blind thing of posting letters of certain sizes and that. But what I've got, Teresa, is one of these. You can get them. This really, really helped me. I've had, I've had this for several years but it's it's really helped me we first got it when we used to do quite a bit of um selling on ebay and that and we we got it then mr doodle said oh let's get one of those size thingies now you can get them from the post office or i think we got this from ebay but i, I mean I, I personally think the post office should provide these to every household i mean I, i'm gonna get on my soapbox a minute now but um you know years ago you could just stick a stamp first or second class on a letter go and shove it through your post box didn't have to think about it but now oh no you can't do that now it's all changed so for the stamp that you put on Teresa you, your second class stamp I don't know whether it's sorry can't even see it's not picking it up it's it's got to be no longer than what's that say 200 240 centimeters millimeters not centimeters uh, and a maximum thickness of five millimeters oh so that's right that's the length um so look i'll show you it has to literally just drop through there and see if i can do it that way it won't lock it won't go through there so that's why it got held back and you know i mean uh, this has been a godsend to me for like doing sending challenge things and that sorry i'm three minutes in already and we haven't started the entry but you've literally you can't even put a gem little gems on your cards because by the time you've got your card closed and your gem on and the envelope it still won't go through there and so this is the reason i take well mr doodle takes them for me because we don't have a post office here what well, we do for two hours on a wednesday sometimes <laughs> um so I, I get mr doodle to post mine but uh, on the occasion, some occasions when I've took letters, I'll take it knowing that it's it won't go through that slot. It'll be the large letter slot, um, and they say, "I said, oh, can I have a stamp for this, please?" Yeah, give me a second class stamp or what? I say, "No, it's can you check it, please?" Because it won't. Oh yeah, so you so you have to be, you know. You have to, can't even rely on the post office staff really because they, you know, they can get it wrong. But anyway, I know I'm going on now, but that, this is what I do. I get one of these. They're probably a couple of pounds or something. But, you know, if you want to just, I know some people just like to have stamps in the house and post letters. But, you know, <laughs> I suppose not everybody bothers collecting their mail if they've got to pay for it. I don't know, but um so yeah that's the it's the there was the thickness of it and so it should have gone through that one look the the large letter and i think i think this size has altered now so i'm gonna say we've had this quite a few years for the small parcel so i hope that's helped you a little bit but you know i Oh, 
won't say always because there's the odd times when we forget but like to ask for a proof of posting postage even if it's just for a, a card if it's for if it's especially if it's for a challenge or something or if it's something handmade because at least then if it goes missing you can claim a bit of something but anyway i shall shut up now and get this entry open <laughs> But I just wanted to tell you, Teresa, that that you know that was why, and Teresa did offer to pay, but it's all right. You you didn't know, so you will know for another time, won't you? So, so at least it's solved for mystery. Thank you very much. Oops, let's have a look. Fingers and thumbs. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, nice piece of printer paper. Ooh. Oh, buttons. Look at that. Oops, let's go down a bit. Oh, please open. Okay. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. Oh, that's lovely. I love the buttons. Oh, look. Oh, cherish. Oh, this is lovely. It's all... Oh. Oh, she's... Look, she's... It's a little booklet with a message in that in. Right, okay. <laughs> Teresa's saying that she's done, she sent me a birthday card. Let's have a look. Right, it's my birthday card. Thank you very much. That will go in my pile for my birthday. Um, and then she's saying she's done a few envelopes and pockets. She's a little obsessed with them at the moment. I know, I get obsessions when I start something and I like it. I'm like, I've got to do 10 million of these now. It's the law. Oh, that's all right. Oh, thank you, Therese. That's lovely. That is really cute. Thank you ever so much. Right. So I did open that. That's sweet. Look. Oh, these are beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? She's put some cotton trim and um, a leaf swirly thing. I'm good at good with words, me, aren't I? <laughs> a swirly thing, a leaf swirly thing. Today is the perfect day to be happy. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. Look at this one. She made this little pocket. I'll have to keep my dinner money in there, won't I? <laughs> um, ah, the paper's lovely. It's all like script on it and then this looks like a piece of probably handmade paper of some description and then this is a oh what do you call it skeleton leaf have you cut that out yourself Teresa and this is a petal of some description that's beautiful I love that I was only thinking a couple of weeks ago, I've got some skeleton leaves and I thought I really need to get those out and start using those. I, I've, well, I've used them on a few things, but I even made, well, I don't know where it is now, but even rolled a couple up once and made like a little flower with it. That was a fiddly thing to do, but generally I don't, I've not used them a great deal. Thank you ever so much. It's lovely getting all these ideas from you lovely ladies. Look at these. This one again, I'm sorry for the light, it's rubbish. Um, this script on it, and then this is like 
looks like stitching stitch marks and then the cotton trim again and hello more pocket money thank you oh once upon a time lovely leaf uh, the paper's fab look at this stamps on this one that's lovely thank you ever so ever so much i really appreciate that they're lovely teresa so if you don't know teresa please pop across to her channel and show her some support i don't know how new you are whether you're how new you are to to youtube um but i i think you're whether it's youtube you're new to or just sending parcels that you're new to i'm not really sure um but yeah please pop across and show us some support show us some crafty youtube love and good luck in the draw teresa and thank you again for entering i'm sorry for going off my little getting on my soapbox and going off on one but it's royal mail they're blooming oh i don't know it's just our system is crap because you just want to stick a stamp on put it in the letterbox and be done with it none of this measuring and it's you know it's it's stupid but right thank you ever so much take care and i'll speak to you soon bye